Happy Thumbs Gaming. Big show. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out a hangover sent direct from Mother Nature walkthrough for Max Payne 3 where we grab two golden guns and all nine clues. Alright, so we have sped this up as always and we've actually cut out the kind of the first introductory scene here. And this is the first clue. I'm not sure if you can walk by this guy or not, but this is your first clue right here. Talk to the guy that we saw in the crapper a couple levels back. If you remember uh, back... In the uh, club, level two, chapter two, found him in the shitter, hiding out. Also a clue back then as well. He's a helpful young lad. He talks awfully fast, and he sounds kind of funny. Anyways, all right. So along this one, we also pick up another trophy, a secret trophy along the way. Woo! We'll get to that in a little, little, little bit. This is just kind of dragging on for a few minutes here. Thought about cutting this out, but at the same time, didn't want to confuse anybody. It's easier to see it all play through back to back. That's for sure. So we're gonna make it into this nice little uh, strip club. Woot! Dudes pounding out everywhere. Phones that don't work. Alright. Definitely follow this dude. Go get your beer. And then we're going to come back over here. Not a lot happens uh, that we have control over. Uh, but once we do gain control, we're going to start blasting all the baddies across the room. And we're going to go and grab our first golden gun piece. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. King Batty. And there's a familiar newspaper. Pretty sure we saw that same one. Oh, don't get distracted by that. Thong, th -thong, th -thong, th -thong. There's a lot of tail in this game, that's for sure. It's an assortment of stuff. You learn to play the piano, get to see some breastuses and some booties, lots of cuss words, gore galore. That's what I'm dubbing it now. It's gore galore. It's kind of like my screw it, let's do it from Silent Hill. All right, once this dude flaps our ears off and gives us this gun, he steps off, and that's when the confrontation begins. Promise you, we will be getting to the golden gun shortly. That's what I would say to him. All right, here they come. You know, I think it's the beard. It's the LeBron beard. Nobody, nobody really likes the LeBron beard. If you're not LeBron, you can't wear the LeBron beard. It goes for a lot of people. I know that there's a couple other NBA stars right now that are kind of trying to do that as well. A couple of them have made names for themselves. One took an elbow to the face the other day for it too. Tearing it up. Woohoo. Alright. So this one gets tricky here. Once we blast these Fulios, kind of clear out the path. We're going to run back right where we started and check out the mugshot, which is yet another clue for us. We're going to make our way into the bathroom and pick up the golden gun piece. All right, and then before you head all the way out to the end of the hall here, you're going to want to make sure you check this last room under the bed. You can't even see the guy, but then as soon as you walk in there, it cues the cutscene. So that is an easily missed uh, clue as well. I love how he's like, I'm rich and I'm awesome, but I come here for the cheap hookers. 
We're like, all right, we buy it, right? Makes sense. Hot cheap hookers. Is there a better kind? Jesus, what a fucking. So there you go, another clue added to the books. Going to a strip club and got to a bar fight. This latest midnight crisis. Make our way down here, and in a second. Oh yeah, yeah. Target a civilian there. A couple of baddies run down. We're gonna go ahead and take them out. It's funny. I, I like how they they can't look over the edge 100%. They can only make it like 90. Definitely remind me not to hire those guys to be my henchmen. I was walking into another not so welcome party. These hoods didn't look like Commando Sombra. Not that I was gonna get picky. This was clearly their turf. So I'll keep progressing it. through this zigzag, and then we get to this house with uh, the big green tub. You can kind of see it before the action kicks in, but if you see the big green tub and a bunch of dudes trying to shoot you, you know you're on to something. So once we clear out the area here, go ahead and keep moving up the stairs. We'll keep getting sweated by these baddies. Oh, that was a good one. Dude, like, ran at me and got shot in the face. A little bit of face meltage. So, yeah, the controls got a little weird up, uh, throughout this level for me. A couple different times during the bullet time, I definitely was moving left, and the camera was kind of doing its own thing. Oh, look at that. A little bonus trophy. For headshots, I believe. Have to look that one up. That was not one of the ones of our focus, that's for sure. So it's definitely an accumulative trophy. Nothing spectacular done there to get that. Other than maybe some precise aim to somebody's head a few times more than not. So continue to clear the area, pick up some weapons as you need them along the way, because there's, I mean, continuous fights all the way. Before you shoot the lock and go in the door here, take note of the big giant graffiti on the wall. And cutscene begins. Alright, so here you actually have a chance to uh, get something we call a trophy of so much for being subtle. So once you're seen, you grab the chain and you get pulled up. If you hit, take out all the guys before you hit the ground, you will succeed in this trophy. It might take you a couple times. Feel free to restart the checkpoint, and it'll take you right to where you start zipping up the line. So as you can see there, I blasted from left to right, took out the two guys in the middle, and then went left to right again. Because you kind of get that focus right at the end on those last two guys. So as long as you get those X's on the two upper left guys, you should have no problem taking out the final two for the complete nine, because there is a total of nine guys. So yeah, not too hard. Definitely, uh, you know, try it on easy, obviously. Don't uh, stress yourself out trying to do it on hard, because those guys will probably have better aim, and I don't know, I haven't played on hard yet. I am what my son would refer to as a wuss puss. But he was not taking the hard route, taking the easy route. But hey, with all these trophies, some of them are pretty hard. You're going to have to do this a lot. If you want the platinum on this game, it's going to require some dedication. So we're just going to keep behind the cover here and keep blasting away. And as we proceed to take out the baddies... We'll move over here real quick and grab this piece of golden gun. Stacking it up. Love this shirt he's got on too. Awfully colorful and touristy. I can't help but feel like that shirt is part of the reason why he's always getting noticed and getting shot at. If he had like a standard shirt. So oh, people always try to buy touristy shirts and go to these like exotic places, Hawaii or you know South America, Brazil, you know, places of like lots of color and and hot weather and psh, people always make those mistakes. Try to fit in, dress like the locals. <laughs> I'm pretty sure most people won't be wearing 
uh, exotic bird t-shirts and stuff. Maybe they would. I don't know. I don't get out much. Some people call me Casper. Some awfully white. Or even Powder was the more recent that Corey called me. So yeah, make sure you got that golden gun back there. I was kind of flapping away uh, as we moved in there and grabbed that. Keep on keeping on, move along. To get through here, you're going to have a little bit of resistance. Actually, no, that's right. We ended up having nothing. It's through the gate. These bastards look different, tougher, more capable. This is when the resistance builds up. I hope Fabiano wasn't maybe served up come feeding time. I'd have felt worse taking someone's medication if everybody in that place hadn't been trying so, to kill me. If you take a little peek over on the right-hand side of the alleyway here before you advance, you will find yet another piece of that gun. Looks like a pretty ruthless auto shoddy. Yeah, you also want to take note of the uh, Brazilian Bruce Lee there. And his two kung fu buddies. And there's a little room back there with some painkillers if you're hurting for them painkillers. You just pretty much keep advancing your way up here in a minute. You're going to have to... Oh, yeah, if you don't... Uh, if you don't engage on those guys on the top there, most certainly a better option for you because they will not fire at you. You just sneak right by him. That guy right there at the top of the stairs, apparently you can get him before he shoots the flare, but I literally came around the corner looking for him, shooting almost, and I still couldn't get it. So if you got better aim than me, which hopefully you do, uh, you might succeed in that. Make sure that you can drop down either side there. I dropped around the front side and then ran around the back side. Just for Donald. And uh, grab that uh, last piece of that spass. Auto shotgun, whatever it is. And we got a big old memorial to Claudio, which obviously we saw him get smoked towards the beginning of this. Watch out here. There's going to be quite a few dudes shooting at you. Obviously, all the wood is... Uh, not a good place to be because it breaks down. And just keep killing baddies and keep pushing forward. Painkiller on the flow. Go ahead and chew him up. My little Flintstone chewables. That's how he takes them. It's funny. No water, nothing. Just down the hatch. All right, before you go into the house there, you want to make sure that you grab this flyer on the ground. Pretty obvious flyer, but... Pretty easy to miss it. Once inside, don't think they're gonna let up on you. There's bad dudes up in here too. Bad guys seem to come in three so far in this game. Not always, but more often than not. Keep going, going along like the story wants it to. And down the stairs. Make sure you tuck in here. Painkiller. I think. It's hard to tell. It doesn't really uh, show you you got a painkiller or not. It just makes a little clicking sound. Which I have the, all the audio off while I do the commentary. So it's not interfering with any of my awesomeness of my sexy voice. Alright, so right here, again, wood, not good cover. Lots of bad guys. Uh, there is an explosive, a little yellow tank that you can use that helps, but um, I didn't see it, so go ahead and shoot all the other guys, and whichever works best for you. But I highly recommend using this brick wall as your cover point. Using your bullet time as much as possible. Those diving jumps are pretty sweet. Seen it a million times and still gets cooler, cooler every time. Still getting shot at. I couldn't figure it out. They kind of keep coming in waves almost. Make your way through the house. Uh, 
There's going to be another drug house coming up here in a minute that we absolutely demolish. This was going to be a safe medical detox. And I don't mean just shooting a couple bags of weed on a scale. Or whatever that was. Looked like some sort of like test tube beaker or something and next to a couple bags of weed. I was a little confused at first to see where I was going, but apparently you make it down here and bust through the door. This is where we get a little peek in on the main drug house here. First guy opens the door, sees you, blast away. Clear the room out, make sure it's safe. Go ahead and enter that bad boy. You'll know it's empty when that bullet cam hits that last guy. Make your way over to the kitchen counter and examine the drugs on the counter. Nice little clue for the books. Some more test tube biggers. And we'll find the doors locked. Trigger the cutscene. More drugs. Surprised Max didn't grab a smoke. Alright. Any ideas what's going to happen here? If you haven't seen it yet, it's pretty cool. I'm assuming most of you, though, have already watched these. Or, I mean, already played these. Seen these along the way. Probably coming back through on your second playthrough. Maybe not. Grab that big clue on the wall there. Believe it or not, that skull is a clue, as you can see, represented in the bottom corner there. Alright, keep pushing and pushing and pushing. Here in a second, we're gonna have one last little gunfight here. Shouldn't say little. Then we take cover behind the uh, barrier here. And make sure to try to avoid those Maltovs. It's hard because they're kind of throwing them right at you. But if you go left to right, you can avoid being burnt to a crispy critter. Which did happen to me. So you probably noticed in my edit there a few seconds back. Before moving on, make sure you slide to the left. And this also gives you an advantage because you can kind of take out the guys that you're about to encounter before you even encounter them. Thinning out their numbers. It's not South Park line there. Yeah. Old cousin Ned or Uncle Ned or whatever he was. Coming right for us, Ned. Oh, yeah. See, I'm old school. It's like 12 years ago, 10 years ago, something. Maybe longer. More Maltovs coming in. Avoid those. Blast all the baddies and just keep going. We're at the end of the level here. And it's going to cue the super long cutscene. This one actually gets pretty graphic. I don't want to ruin anything for you if you haven't seen it, but it's. It was quite the shocker. Quite the shocker. Yeah, you definitely want to shoot that RPG as soon as you can. I, I got really lucky there and blasted it damn near as it was coming out of the tube. Nice little spin around. Gave him my blue thunder look. Or, oh, wait, sorry. Blue steel. Blue steel. I had to hope the king was in his castle. And the cutscene cue. So, not going to ruin the cutscene for you. That is going to wrap up level 7 walkthrough. A hangover sent direct from Mother Nature for Max Payne 3. Feel free to comment, vote, subscribe if you like what we're doing. Make sure to follow us on Twitter so you can be part of our contests. We're not going to wait much longer. We're almost to that number. You can probably figure it out if you head over there and see him. All right, and as always, until next time, bye.